February 12th through April 4th, 2013 marks the 40th anniversary of the returning of prisoners of war from Vietnam. During that time, approximately 600 POWs were returned to American soil by way of the C-9 Nightingale and the C-141 Starlifter, much like the one you see behind me here on Joint Base Charleston. On March 4, 1973, one of those POWs to return with honor was retired Colonel Willard Gideon. After his F-105D was shot down on August 7, 1966, Colonel Gideon spent nearly seven years as a prisoner of war in North Vietnam. Along with his survival training, the thing that kept him going was the knowledge that one day the war would be over. The biggest thing, I guess, is just knowing in your own mind at least you think you know, so you got to convince yourself you know that it can't last forever. Yeah, it's lasted six years, but damn it, it's going to end. While the Vietnam War continued over the years, Colonel Gideon and the other POWs had to find ways to pass the time. If you could tell a movie, for instance, you'd be entertainment for the night. Everybody gather around and you'd tell them a movie or any story. Or if you're good at making up stories, you could do that if you want. After returning to the United States and before he retired, Colonel Gideon served another 10 years as commander of the 437th Airlift Wing Supply Squadron and deputy commander of resource management at Charleston Air Force Base, South Carolina. He asks for everyone to remember those who served and those who were still missing 40 years later. Reporting from Joint Base Charleston, I'm Airman First Class Michael Reeves.